Anyways, it's yours and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the yours channel family. Please do subscribe and join us. We are on the way to 100k subscribers. Today, I want to touch on something that a lot of people are already talking about. Very much in the beginning of the year, we want to lose weight and we also want to start setting goals, especially financial goals. However, I do believe that the realities of our circumstances do matter and they do play a huge role in how we go about achieving our goals we might be talking about okay getting that new car getting that new house getting that investment account to double this year you know you adding 200k on top of that but how do we do that if you are sitting at home unemployed how do you achieve financial goals if you have just been laid off or you've got one job you know you're thinking of a second job but how do i go about that what if my goal is just to literally get by this year how do i attach a financial goal to that what if i am spending my money in the right places but i'm not able to save at the end of the month i give to the church i tithe i do all of this and then at the end of the month i'm gonna lose there's also rent there is stress that comes with that so i really want to get into this with the mindset of really being real essentially having the realities that face us are my debit orders i ask a million it's january but at the end of the day it doesn't mean that we cannot achieve our financial goals but how do we go about that let's get straight into that if you do enjoy this kind of content definitely give this video a massive thumbs up comment down below and let me know what your financial goals look like this year where you at in life because at the end of the day those things do count when it comes to Imagine, you know and of course if you haven't already do click that subscribe button it is absolutely free hey there <laughs> it's y'all's channel so we're into this new year but we are still coming with last year's problems anyway they don't change overnight just because the 31st turned into the 1st of january doesn't mean that those problems go away how do i make this a different money year how do i make sure that this year i actually achieve and tick off certain things that require inyugu how do i do that i don't have where do i start what do you have i always say you've got your mind the biggest thing for me that changed my life was the way in which i started seeing money i always saw money as this thing that allows you to do and achieve so many other things i thought you need money to achieve your goals but you need your mind first to actually achieve your goals. What is your mentality? What is your relationship with money? Do you think money has power or do you have power regardless of whether or not right now you are sitting with money? I actually literally am waiting for you to answer in the comment section below. I want to know because a lot of what we think becomes what we end up having and what we end up becoming. My relationship with money personally is that money has no mouth to speak. Money has no eyes to see. Money has no power over me. I speak over my money. I direct where my money goes. And I always start that conversation. You all know with God. He helps me direct my finances and send it in the different directions that I want it to go. So if you're sitting in a place where you're just like, Money comes and money goes in my hands. It doesn't stay. How do I keep money? Understand that money is just a means and that you have full control over that. You are literally the authority over your money. When it hits the bank, money should not have names on it with debit orders and lists of bills that it has to go to first before you have a say over it. For me personally, when my money hits the bank, I'm the one who directs it. I'm a debit orders fitting my father right at the end of the month because again, what can I control? There are certain things you cannot control, there are certain things you can. And for me, mentally, to channel and also make sure that I still have power over my money, I ensure that my debit orders, even if it's a new or an old debit order, I changed all the ones that are automatic that come on the 24th, the 26th. Even my salary, I make sure it comes sooner. If I can uh, invoice earlier and ask for money earlier, 25th. So that by the time uh, my money hits my bank account, it's not the creditors that have my money first. It is me. It is my bank account. It is me who channels where it needs to go because money cannot speak. 
how then is it dictating my lifestyle how is it dictating my life njani i tell you lento kutheni nge ngine say ba tomorrow and iki apa no 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 when it comes to money a lot of you know i've actually done a money mantra video and i'll link it up here very very passionate about the way in which you think about your money and the way you use your money it's up to you how you want to use your money but ensure that it's actually you who's deciding that not money itself because yes even though money cannot speak a lot of the times money does control people people make that the idol you make that what has control over you where you go who you hang out with and how you are perceived for me it's the opposite I tell you lendo so it cannot it certainly cannot dictate where I sit where I go where I eat and what I do. So that is the biggest thing. The other thing is I grew up in poverty so I really needed to learn what see how do I ensure that every single thing that comes in I retain as much of it as possible. And I had to again change that mindset to what see just see this thing as just another paper. Le mali just because it says 50 rand doesn't make it more or less of what it really is. It's a paper. it does grow on trees and yes in is open to buy anyway but it doesn't mean that i should use it um you know foolishly so pray over your money which is very key but also be wise in the way in which you understand your relationship the power dynamics do count in the way that you see it and the worst part is that it counts where your goals are concerned because your goals will come and they'll always be there they will always be there but how much of that Are your actual goals your house is sitting on the other side of the authority with your money your car is sitting on the other side of that your dream job is sitting on the other side how how, how is it related y'all because if you understand the problem truthfully speaking our real problems are not always just money related you saying now how can i have financial goals when i don't have a job the job is the problem money is not the problem how do i get a job you shifting your focus from getting the money and actually looking at the problem how do i get a job what options do i have changing the mindset in which you see jobs sometimes people get annoyed that we make money sitting down and talking as youtubers but actually shift your mindset and say oh i have five degrees and i've been waiting and waiting on these different job promises these different job applications rejections left right and center what if i change my mindset and actually use my skill set and educate people through social media or educate people through another avenue let me host classes in my neighborhood there is no water filter and i'm an engineer why don't i find a way a chemical engineer why don't i find a way to do that and create that what about social entrepreneurship when you understand that it's not a money issue and you've got the power over money money is the last thing here the problem is the job creation <laughs> it's how we can actually find the means to solve the problem not making money the means to solve the problem because it won't there are people out there who with more money cannot solve their problems still today so look at what you actually are sitting with your mindset your intellect how can i then create that job that i want because that's the real problem here i can't work for this person but can i work for myself okay cool can i monetize my skill set okay problem solved how do i do that now we can then get into then how we go about making those other steps that are necessary before the big picture item the big ticket item that everyone always focuses on money money goals mean money matters meaning money uh, processes to get there i need to progress with money in order for me to succeed no not no always Mm-mm, i don't believe that and then now back to reality snap back out of the looking at the problem you've shifted your focus you see the problem Now I want to get that house at the end of this year. What is my current situation? Sometimes we are too scared to look at our finances because we know it's in shambles. Hey, we know but we spit pity la payana. Hey, 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 i budget ama ngifuna ukuyibona because ingxaki zami zime ngenyawo. Isn't that what we saying? Zijonge zingxaki. Are they really that big? How do we solve this? you know in 2020 i didn't know the pandemic would happen but the year before i had thought that okay that's when i would pay my car off and that didn't happen instead i paid off my student loan my nasfus that year and the year before uh, i got married in 2017 we paid everything cash didn't have credit 2018 i was saving to pay off the car and the loan but the following year i only got to achieve 
the nest first thing right 2018 i quit my job so that's where the money went to and i had a baby in that year so it makes sense right 2020 started i could pay off my car easily knowing that there was a looming pandemic and because i'd already created that thing guti imali needs me not the other way around i don't need money it was so much easier to go in the midst of panic and start a business during the pandemic. So I'm not talking easy to as you. I know these things, but I had to look at my finances. I had to look at my different spreadsheets and actually name and shame myself for the things where my money was going jail without purpose, you know, and that is so necessary if you're going to move forward and actually set goals and attach goals to whatever it is that you want to achieve. So number three, now that you know what the problem is, you've listed all of the, yes, I didn't use that word, but yes, it means that you needed to budget. You have to budget. Uh, unfortunately, you have to see where your expenses are, what they are, where your money is going, how much you were actually throwing. You know, you're giving to the church, but are you accounting for it? How does that look in the box, you know? Or you're using money you could expense to your business. As a YouTuber, for instance, the clothes that I'm wearing now, my accountants always say, if you're shooting with those clothes, hey, brah, buy it on the business account. It is part of your work. If you're going to have lunch and it's a business meeting, why are you paying for it? The business should pay for it. So those, again, are the things that you need to start looking at. And again, it's a mind shift because for a long time, people buy cars through the business, but some of them do it purely because it makes financial sense to do so but as you call up my level where i've got job or you've got a basic one job and you're thinking to yourself okay i see my budget if i really want another car this year i've got one car i want to pay this one off or trade it in how do i get the other car what about a second job hmm? hey do i have the time you know what, I do have three hours after 5 p.m. to play around. That's when I usually watch series. Can I actually sacrifice one hour to working? Whether it's whatever it could be. It could be Uber service. It could be uh, online services. There's tons of jobs. I'll actually link um, Nocipo, Financial Affairs with Nocipo over here. There are tons of remote jobs that you could do literally an hour a day. You've seen your finances. You are now writing down your goals, which is number three, listing the things that you want to achieve. And then you're starting to understand about, okay, if I can just make more time, can't make more time, there's only 24 hours, what can I do with one hour a day to make extra income? For some people, it doesn't look like a remote job. For other people who are highly skilled and are very, very busy, but need that passive income for future investments or future, uh, you know, big goals, what about a YouTube channel? What about a TikTok? What about sharing your knowledge and your skill set? 15 minutes a day, film two or three TikToks. It's an investment. You may not see the rewards now, but in a year's time, you may. Yeah, but you write all those things down and then you start creating timestamps and timelines. It's so easy to have goals. We all have them. I trust me. No more. Oh, I've got to go, go, go. Girl, when are you going to achieve that? Oh, I want to lose weight. By when? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I'm definitely going to buy my new Benz this year. Me, I'm still driving my old Benz from 20, 2017. How old is my I don't even know. But I want a new car this year. I want my GLE this year. I'm just like, I'm ready to upgrade. Ne? How am I going to do that if I don't set aside those small steps? If I don't walk literally towards that direction? How do we get there? By adding timestamps first. Calling ourselves accountable, you may not have an accountability partner, but girl, you are accountable and responsible for your own goals. I'm sorry. I'm not going to feel sorry for anyone who says, I don't have an accountability partner. I don't have a mentor. You have you, girl. You talk to yourself every single day and you are the best version of yourself. So hold yourself accountable. Add timelines. Vuga. Ungati Monday. When you can start today. If anything, today's decisions do certainly affect tomorrow's outcome. So if you can do yourself a favor and start setting those small little goals, make it bite-sized, chewable. Let's stop this thing of like, oh, unattainable, huge goals. Because we set big goals, but we're not willing to take the small steps. So it makes no sense, especially to me, to have these massive goals, yet you're not even willing to take one step toward them. What are you doing? 
you're wasting time. Oh, yeah, but it's going to take me three years to achieve this. I don't have three years. What have you achieved in three years? Leah, three years that you had no time for has passed. What have you achieved? I'm sorry that I'm being hard on you, but it's a reality. So many of us are so huge, big talkers of our big dreams, but we are not willing to have a microscopic look at things and say, well, at this level, I can actually just dedicate one more hour for an additional job to make extra income. At this level, I don't have a job. What can I do? I have my hands. Can I wash a carpet? Oh, no, 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 we are too proud to do that. Mm? Can I make calls? Can I work on a call, like call center? Now that you know what you can do, we've prayed for wisdom as well. How are we going to achieve that? By putting a timestamp in three months, this is what I'm going to achieve. With marriage, it's so much easier for people to plan weddings because the date is there. Isn't that why it's easy? Yes, that's exactly why it's easy. The 15th of September, you're getting married. So you are working towards something like that. Why is it with big celebrations, we are able to achieve literally huge numbers. People have weddings with half a million rand, yet they don't even earn half a million rand a year themselves. But they're going to achieve that. They're going to make a way and find a way. What about our dreams? Our dreams deserve that. Our visions deserve that time. So take out the time to walk towards your 15th of September or your 1st of January 2024 with a massive lump sum waiting there to mature and it's got your name on it. Why not? But let's start with bite sizes. So in three months, how do I aim to get a car? So I want the car at the end of the year, but within three months, I want to at least save 20,000 Rand. Me as yours, who's a YouTuber, can I actually get one extra campaign if i'm aiming for four campaigns a month can i get one extra campaign within the three months that i know would see i'm going to take everything that i get i just need a twenty thousand rand campaign which is about two posts or one and a half posts there on instagram i'm getting expensive hey so watch the space anyway um i get that client i pitch to them right i've set the timelines i know it's march but it does not benefit me if I actually don't take the steps towards setting up the proposal and actually pitching to client long before March comes because I know that is the timestamp, that is the goal post, that is why we set goals. So now that we've added our timelines every single day, y'all, what are you doing to work towards that? I want that big client. I've now pitched to uh, McCain, to ShopRite. I've now uh, also pitched to Revlon and none of them have responded in two weeks. Again, who's the accountability partner? Me. I follow up and I figure out who else I can actually pitch to. Those are the steps that you are taking. It doesn't take you 15 or 20 minutes to send an email. Yes, it might take you an hour to set up the proposal, but to send the email, yo, see lazy sometimes, even me, I'm talking to myself now. Those are the habits you start creating. Some habits may not look like financial uh, huge goals. These same steps can look like our spiritual uh, growth, our spiritual journey and say, Lord, every morning, I just want to set out an hour for you, you know. But for now, we want to focus on the finances. At the end of it, once you've created that like rotational sort of routine of facing your finances every single month, looking at the goals that you've written down and creating those timelines looking at the time oh i'm three months away oh i'm two months away believe me you are you will be much closer to achieving your goals and the year may pass and you may not be able to buy the car that you want but trust me in your bank account you will have far more than what you would have if you didn't set any goals and if you did not walk towards them we cannot walk towards something without working right it takes energy to walk Therefore, it takes working to walk. So let's work to walk towards our dreams. Yay! Imam layer. Honestly, that is what has worked for me. It's a funnel effect. It's the big picture effect. First, your mindset. Get it right. See your finances as they are. Do not try and be fooled. See them as they are. Don't conceal anything at all. See your finances as they are. Funnel that down to what you want them to be. Set your financial goals. What do I want to achieve? And then go a step further. Put timelines and timestamps. Literally make yourself accountable for the things you say you want to achieve. You are your own responsibility. Umdala. <laughs> so you're responsible for you. And now that you've got the timelines and it's in three months time or in 12 months time, every single day, create a habit that you know you can literally do every single day. 
that's going to be working towards walking towards what you want to achieve. Literally create small steps to achieving your big dream. Start small, dream big. There is no problem in doing that. And in our reality, especially as South Africans in Africa, we are faced with harsh realities of black tax, of poverty, unemployment, and so many things. The working middle class is packed with us, full of us young people who don't really have a full picture plan. But that's okay. We can set it now and move forward. In three years time, we're gonna be achieving even bigger dreams. It's not gonna be cars. It's gonna be cars on cash if it's cars at all. It's gonna be building massive houses. It's going to be building commercial property. It's gonna be creating legacy, retirement for not just us, but our kids as well. It's going to be building that empire that is gonna feed the generations that follow. That is my belief and that is exactly why I say it starts here. Our feet follow where our mind goes. I hope that has blessed you guys. I hope that you did enjoy this content. We've not done finance content in a minute, but that is where I'm at financially. And I've been able to achieve a debt-free life. The only debt I have is my mortgage, to be honest. But cars are paid off. No credit card. Scratch that uh, about three or four years ago. And I've been able to live a life where it is cash. Hard as that is at times, tears that I've seen, it is far better than knowing that there's a creditor there that's waiting for me. But I hope the same for you in your future. And if you do enjoy this kind of content, there is absolutely no harm in you clicking subscribe. You know we are on the way to 100K. So definitely subscribe and join this family. And also, when you are subscribed, you get to see firsthand the different types of content. Never want to notification get there in the beginning. They get the notification, click the bell as well. So that you're part of those people who see it first and get to also interact in the comment section. There's no harm in doing that. I love it when you guys interact act we all learn from each other and at least i said you have holding yourself accountable at least you have us to hold you accountable so get the so put your comment there let me know your financial goals i would love to know what you want to achieve in the next 12 months and of course don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up i love you guys so so much bye it's y'all's channel